You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. And, so, and by the way, by the way, too, man, Rob Parker wrote a hit piece out on um, Tom Brady and um, Bruce Arians, uh, blaming them. He wrote it for a dead spin, as well. Oh, that's the perfect place for him to go to work. Oh, you, I, you I didn't mean, see it? A, that that no, I have not seen it yet. I have <laughs> Here, not. I have not read this whole thing, but since we're on it, we can look at it. Bruce Arians is also to blame Brady too. Bucks coach QB and Abel Brown by giving him a job he should have never received. Rob Parker. I didn't know he even wrote for Deadspin. But I guess, you know, this is a perfect place for him. I, I didn't guess. either. Yeah. They they have they have uh, went after Jason Whit Whitlock for like seven years now. Just hit piece after hit piece on Whitlock. Wow. Yeah. You want to want to read some of this to see what uh, he actually uh, says here? Yeah, let's look at it. Okay. Uh, Rob Parker. Now, you know, Rob Parker, he's a, you know, you've heard of never Trumpers. He's a never uh, Bradier. Bradier, I guess you can call it that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He hates Tom Brady with oh, a passion. And he, yeah, he does. Um, It's easy to just want to blame this all on Antonio Brown. After all, the star wide receiver acted out in the middle of the Buccaneers Jets game on Sunday in Jersey. After refusing to go back in the game, Brown stripped off his helmet, shoulder pads, and uniform and basically quit on the spot. This is an open and shut case, right? Think again. Most of the blame has to go to Tampa Bay coach Bruce Arians. He was the enabler. He was complicit. He set up this mess. Arians is just as much to blame as Brown. He never held Brown accountable. He kept looking the other way as if, if the stuff Brown had done in the past wouldn't happen to him. Uh, when things blew up in his face, as it had in uh, Brown's previous three stops in NFL America, Arians acted surprised, like he was caught off guard. Please, there was never a question if Brown would blow up, the, blow up the spot just when it would happen. Butts quarterback Tom Brady should shoulder blame as well. He also didn't really care about Brown, the person. All Brady cared about was Brown the talented wide receiver. Brady was so hell bent on winning another Super Bowl, proving the success in New England was about him and not Coach Belichick, that he sold his soul and principles to get Brown, a man accused of sexual assault by one woman and sexual misconduct by another on his team. How else can you explain Brady taking Brown into his home despite the erratic behavior that left a trail of alleged victims in Brown's path? If Brady really cared about Brown's behavior, he would have gotten him the professional help, not a professional contract to play football. It's clear Brown needs some sort of help in his personal life to improve his well-being. You don't need to be a doctor to know that. It's just the eye test, like spotting a great athlete on the field. But more than anything, Brown needs to be held accountable for his actions. Yes, tough love. That's what Arians failed to deliver. When Brown needed it most, don't forget it first, Aaron said Tampa Bay wasn't interested in Brown after the, the New England Patriots cut ties with him. Then Brady wanted him, and boom, he was a buck. Somehow, Brown survived injury in the season and helped Tampa win the Super Bowl. When no other team in the league wanted him, the Bucks re-signed him. Then came the moment of truth. Aaron said something very profound when the Bucks went out on a limb when they first signed Brown. He screws up one one time, he's gone. Aaron's proved himself to be a liar. Brown screwed up, all right, in epic proportion. He lied about his vaccination status, got a fake vaccination card. A federal crime is prosecuted. Worst of all, uh, Brown endangered the health of Arians, a three-time cancer survivor, and 83-year-old offensive consultant Tom Moore. That was Arians' cue to stick to his word, hold Brown <laughs> accountable for such a selfish act. Oh, instead, Brown instead Arians was the selfish one giving Brown a pass because his football team needed a good wide receiver after injuries depleted his supply. And without question, Brown is still that. A scrub or a lesser talent would have would have uh, been shown the door ASAP, not Brown, because his biggest enabler was the head coach, the shot caller. Shamefully, Arians first 
Whereas at the press conference after the game was that Brown was no longer a buck. Isn't that special? And uh, I, mean, I guess I could read the rest of this. It ain't that long. Uh, only to add this to the media on Monday. Quote, I have no regrets. I just hope the best for him. It was very hard. I wish him well. If he if he needs help, I hope he gets some. It's very hard because I do care about him. Please. Arians never cared about Brown. Just that Brown, just what Brown could do for him, enhance his resume with his Super Bowl. If he really cared, he would have gotten Brown to help before tossing him another jersey and sending him back onto the football field. No one should be shocked about what happened here. It happened with the Steelers, the Raiders, the Patriots, the lure, the lure of using a man's talent to help when football games is too great. It's harder to be concerned over someone's well-being. Shame on Arians. He's to blame, too. Wow. Go ahead, Rhodes. Let me first begin by saying, if Antonio Brown was not given an NFL job by some NFL team, this very same publication would be talking about how the NFL is full of a bunch of racist MFers for Antonio Bingo. Brown not be not given a job. Exactly. That's horseshit. Go away, Rob Parker. Okay, this this article is more about I want to write a hit piece on Bruce Arians and Tom Brady who I already everybody already knows I hate. I hate those guys. It gives me another mm -hmm. reason to throw another anti Tom Brady article on the log on the fire. This is why this article is written. The, the league would be branded a bunch of racists like they still are with because Colin Kaepernick's no talent ass hasn't gotten back on the field. At least we can say Antonio Brown has true talent. There's no argument right. there. No okay, doubt. Okay. That's the reason he has gotten a uh, uh, freaking job after job after after job. I mean, that's ridiculous. Um, I will say this. Rob Parker is right about one thing. He is right about one thing. They did choose to sign Antonio Brown knowing his past. They did choose to do but that. I don't thing, give a many, shit how, about how the many, vaccination how status. How many thing. teams, how many that. teams have signed troubled players because of their talent? We just this talked is, about Jerry Jones. This is the league. This is the this league. Is the, this is sports in general. This right is here. the reason why the NFL is known as the National Felon League. Yeah. That's literally a saying. Everybody says it. Every time I do have to do yet another video on some NFL player slash ex-NFL player that's already beat the crap out of their old lady or killed somebody in a DUI accident or insert new felony here, you can go down the comment section and people say National Felon League and, and people will be like, well, they won't sign him again. The next thing you know, the SOB's back in the league. Yeah. Stop it. Stop Trust me, the, the only reason why this hit piece was written is because of Tom Brady. There's no doubt about it. Because did Rob Parker write a hit piece on the Steelers? Did, did he write one on the Raiders? No, not that did, I know did, of. No. Did he write, write one on New England? And Antonio Brown was the racist in in Oak in Oakland. He called he was, was the, the head racist. coach. Was the the head coach? Did he, he called, called him a cracker? Called, called him a cracker. cracker. Yeah, I'm gonna have to bleep that out just so I could put it in a video. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that's right. uh, unreal. That's I right. mean, Rob, Rob Parker, man. I, he he's at Fox, of course, but he's right where he belongs with Deadspin. Oh, a garbage tier website that that just trashes anybody that doesn't fit the narrative. If you don't go along with the mainstream media's narrative, they're going to trash you. That's why they have uh, Aaron Rodgers at uh, number two on that idiot of the year list. Hey, highlight Justin uh, Fugerstein. I hope I got that right. It has been a thing since he was a young child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if Rob Parker wants to get, so if he wants to slam Tom Brady and um and uh Bruce Arians for signing Antonio Brown 
why didn't he go out and trash the um the great Bill Parcells for putting up with Lawrence Taylor, who had a bunch of baggage? But the only reason why Still Lawrence does. Taylor was all time great, and he's done some horrific things since he was he's retired. Yeah, horrific. Yeah. We can't even talk about yeah. it. Um, here on um on his live stream, but yeah, uh, he he's in trouble for something right now. That sure, I would have loved to made a video on it, but they might have ripped the whole channel down if yeah. I had done it. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go to uh, gotta go put it on the website. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.